Hello and welcome to Azure Wala YouTube channel. This is Microsoft Certified Associate series and we are in part number 8. Uh, we have solved uh, 22 questions in previous videos. So if you haven't watched these videos, please uh, watch these videos. We are in question number 23 right now. And question is, your company has two on-premise servers named SR0, SRV01 and SRV02. Developer have created an application that runs on SRV01. The application calls a service on SRV02 by IP address. You plan to migrate the application on Azure virtual machines. Uh, you have configured two virtual machines on single subnet in an Azure virtual network. You need to configure the two virtual machines with static internal IP address. What should you do? So when we create uh, virtual machines on Azure, uh, it does uh, provide a dynamic IP. So uh, we just want to change this dynamic IP to static. So the application dependency, let's say uh, server 1 and server 2 are uh, connected. So their address will not change the application which is being used in server 1 uh, will continue talking to uh, server 2 and uh, it will not have interruption due to IP address because it's pointing to that IP address. So let's see the solutions. So the first answer is that uh, option A run a new Azure RMV and config uh, command PowerShell command. So actually this command is being used to create a configurable uh, virtual machine object. So this will not be useful for uh, having a static internal IP address in this case. So this is the wrong one. Uh, second option is given that run the set Azure subnet PowerShell command. And this command is actually being used to uh, set the subnet uh, list for virtual machine configuration. So uh, that's also not uh, correct option. Uh, next one is modify the virtual machine properties in Azure management portal. So let's see uh, in uh, Azure portal uh, if uh, it help us to modify this. So I am in Azure portal right now. Uh, we'll go to virtual machine. Or maybe we can choose virtual machine 2 in this case. And we go to Azure portal and we can see let's say networking. We don't have any option here which we can make dynamic or static IPs. So in VM portal uh, in Azure, we cannot make any changes. Uh, most probably if it would have been you know here, then it, this is the place where it would be. So that's not the correct answer. So third one or C is also incorrect. Modify the IP properties in Windows Network and Sharing Center. This is actually uh, asking uh, to change in virtual machine itself. So if it is a Windows virtual machine, we can directly go to uh, network and sharing center in the virtual machine or the Windows virtual machine and update the IP. But the drawback here is the Azure environment will not be uh, aware of that change because if it is not changed from Azure, uh, Azure will not uh, be aware that the IP address is now changed to uh, static one so that is also not the correct answer here now uh, we are left with the fourth one not the fourth one it's in fact fifth one uh, option e is the correct answer because uh, uh, this sets the static vnet ip address information for virtual machine object so uh, e is the correct answer Question number 24. Your company has an Azure Active Directory subscription. You need to deploy five virtual machines to your company's virtual network subnet. The virtual machines will each have both public and private IP addresses. Inbound and outbound security rules for all of these virtual machines must be identical. Which of the following is the least amount of network interfaces needed for configuration? So uh, the count of uh, network interface. So we understand the scenario first. Uh, here we do have uh, 
private and um, public IP address and inbound and outbound address. So um, network in interface is always uh, connected with the uh, network uh, security group and SG. Okay, uh, and NIC we call it network interface and then VM. Okay, so in this relation, uh, one VM can have uh, multiple NICs in it. And if one NIC can have private IP, IP and public IP, so two IPs it can have. And uh, inbound and outbound traffic can be uh, filtered through the NSG network security group. So in this scenario, what we can do is we can create a network security group and associate uh, VM's NIC. So I'll clear this up to explain you again. So finally, I created a nice diagram. So we have one network security group that is having inbound and outbound traffic, uh, you know, rules defined. So that network security group is associated with the uh, NIC1, NIC2, NIC3, NIC4 and NIC5 or the virtual machines. And each NIC we can have public IP address defined and private IP address defined and that is associated so this is how we can so the, the question asking is that which of the following is least amount of network interface the minimum amount of network in interface we need so that means we just need five network interface to fulfill this requirement so uh, again let's understand on uh, the azure portal itself so we are in on uh, on our uh, Azure portal now. We will go to virtual machine. Virtual machine is having its own NIC. So let's go down in networking tab. We can see uh, this network interface is attached with this virtual machine. So uh, we will go to network interface itself. And we can see IP configurations. Under the IP configurations, we can see um, IP settings, okay, and IP config. So, IP configuration is like this that uh, we do have uh, private IP address setting which is set to dynamic, and the public IP address, which is uh, one public IP address, is allocated to this virtual machine means both the IP addresses are in the same NIC itself. Again on network security group, we will go to network security group which is associated with this NIC and that network security group is you know having um, uh, its rules defined. So I will show you in the network security group and let's say VM2 NSG network security group and we can see here is the inbound security rules and outbound security rules we can define in same network security group and it will be applicable to virtual machines and NICs which are associated with the, this network security group. I hope um, this was informative for you and if you do like uh, uh, my videos please like, comment, subscribe and share and press the uh, bell notification for yourself so uh, i will be keep you know creating uh, new videos if you do have any doubt please comment on that and keep watching thank you see you in the next video